Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today reviewing another one of the Monster Juiced, but this one is going to be on the Mango Loco flavour. So you can pretty much get this anywhere and everywhere in terms of shops and stuff. It's really, really popular and quite widely available this flavour is. So anyways, let's give you guys a full 360 of the can. So we have a fairly cool looking can design. Of course, it's a 500ml can as usual. So most of the can is blue, as you can see. We have a bit of yellow on there for the juices and stuff. But we kind of have this you know, the um, kind of the skeletons and the that kind of feeling for it because obviously it's based off um, that that event, which I'll read you in a second, which is on the back. So yeah, it's got, you know, different skeletons with all the colored artwork on it and stuff. So, you know, packaging may, may, you may think looks a bit scary, but overall it's just, that's literally the design of it. And, you know, that's what the uh, event celebrates. So on the side, we've got the ingredients and stuff. And on the other side, we've got a little bit of a story which of course we will read in a second. On the bottom, we've got nothing. And on the top, it's all standard and silver, including the pull ring as well. Taking a closer look at the can. So what does the little story say? So it says, on the, on the eve of October 31st each year, friends and family gather to celebrate Dia de los Mutros. I think I said that wrong. Marigolds, mysticism and memories combined with food and drink entice the souls of the departed to join the party. Mango Loco is a heavenly blend of exotic juices, certain to attract even the most stubborn spirit. Crazy good taste with just enough of that monster magic to keep the party going for days. So yes, so reading the ingredients, let's have a look. So this is actually full sugar, just like the old days, and it contains 12 grams of sugar per 100 ml, and the total amount of sugar in this can is 58 grams of sugar. The caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml, so it's bang on the average there for caffeine. We have our favorite and usual vitamins, which are niacin, panophenic acid, uh, sorry, niacin, riboflavin, vitamin B6 and B12, so no panophenic acid, which is interesting. Looking at the actual ingredients, so checking what sweetness it has, it only has sucrose, so no aspartame, obviously, which is good, but it's all sugar, so full sugar drinks generally don't have aspartame in the drink. And what actually juices has this got with the blend? Well, while we're in the ingredients, it has, let's see, white, uh, white grape, mango, uh, guava, apple, pineapple, passion fruit, apricot, peach, orange, and lemon. So that's a big mix up of fruity flavors, basically. So yeah, it's really, really interesting. This has got a good blend of stuff. So anyways, it's not so cold. I have got a cup, let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm guessing the color is gonna be some sort of yellowy orange color. I'm assuming it should be sort of the orangey yellow color and the smell and taste well. We'll have to find out. Don't explode. There we go. Really tough pouring though, blimey. Ow, that was really tough pouring. At the end then that made on my finger. Ouch. Right. Anyways, and the color is. Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZestyLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favorites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks, guys. Hey, surprise, surprise. Of course, it's going to be yellow. There we go, put that to one side, a bit over our desk. So there wasn't too much fizz on the top or the sides, and yeah, there's a few, few, few bubbles on the side, but for the most part, yeah, it doesn't seem to be that fizzy. Uh, let's see, the color is indeed yellow, as I said, definitely more of a dark yellow rather than you know, a bright, super bright yellow, but for the most part, yeah, it just um, just a you know, bit of a darker yellow. Why not look it on camera, but you know, compare it to a bright yellow, then you can see the difference. And it is non-see-through, as you can't see my face through the drink. So let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of. Mm, smells incredibly sweet. Smells really, really sweet. Yeah, it smells nice though. It smells really sweet. 
Cool, well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Wow, yes, that is superb. Oh wow. Yes guys, that is incredibly nice. Really, really nice. That is, to basically sum that up, it's definitely not just mango. I know it says mango in it. I don't know it's got all the other stuff on the bag, but it definitely isn't just mango. You can definitely know it's got some of the other fruits and stuff in there. In a way, it's literally like drinking, like drinking freaking sweet nectar. It's like super, super satisfying, super, you know, super, it's, it's sweet, really, really sweet. Um, but at the same time, it is just really, I said, it's like drinking that really nice syrupy nectar. It just gives you that really, really nice, warm feeling for an energy drink which like i said is lost so much these days with these kind of half sugar drinks this kind of super sweet warm and nectar kind of style drink is lost unfortunately um you know like i said when the sugar tax came and they you know they uh messed up a lot of the drinks from monster kept a lot of their drinks full sugar um which was the right thing to do because then you, you know you've, you've got the choice but um yeah it's been a long time since i've tasted something just like that but ultimately, yeah, like I said, it's like drinking sweet syrupy nectar. It's just, it's so satisfying on the tongue and just in the taste. So, like I said, ultimately, yes, it is a mix of other flavors. And yes, kind of predominantly, you've got your mango there, but because of all the other flavors in the drink, it tastes, as it does say, like your exotic style of mango drink. The way to probably sum this drink up is, when you go into like a supermarket or something and then you go to like the fruit juice aisle for example you know you get like your tropical juice and your cranberry and your in your um you know your orange and your apple juice this is if, if you strip away the packaging of this drink they strip away all the packaging it's literally like your you know your exotic blended fruit juice you find down that aisle just with caffeine and that's literally what this is and it's not a bad thing because the exotic, the exotic juice is damn well nice as well and uh, and uh, generally that stuff is full of sugar as well because it's mixed fruit so this is literally just like your exotic fruit mixed drink at the supermarket so it's not a bad thing but yeah it's super satisfying super super nice and you have just got that beautiful gorgeous blend of flavors coming out of that drink and it really is you know it really is a really proper flavor this one mm. Just every sip you take, it's just that sweet nectar. That sweet, lovely nectar taste. Oh. And it's dangerous because it's like with the exotic juice, you can easily down a pint of this stuff in, in you know, in minutes. And you just want to drink another one because of how good it is. But um, yeah, that's the, um, that's the danger of these drinks when they're so, so nice. But anyways, that is a superb flavor. It, really is nice definitely worth trying this one out if you haven't already but i mean i said one gets a thumbs up from me so when i use viewers as always if you have tried that drink let me in the comments below what you think but as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all later